So I've just imported my demo data from my Taylor theme. And as you can see here, it's all showed up lovely and correctly. Um, if we scroll to the bottom though, you'll notice there's a black bar that says, please enter an access token on the Instagram feed plugin settings page. So to get our beautiful Instagram feed there, what you want to do is go to your dashboard and find an Instagram feed plugin that should have installed with your demo data from your theme. Now, once you click on that, it will give you this blue bar here saying connect an Instagram account. So I'm going to click on that and it should link up my Instagram automatically. It might ask you to log in, it might not, it depends if you're already logged in in your browser. So I'm already logged in, so it came up there. So I want to save my changes. And if I go back to my website and I refresh it, then it should pull through my feed. Yes, so it's pulling it through and it's looking a little bit weird. It's showing up loads of stuff on it and we don't want that. So what you want to do is go back here and go to customize. So here's where you set what you want to display. So the first thing I want you to do is scroll down and most things that are ticked we want to turn off. So I don't want it to show header or bio text or a load more button or a follow button. So yes, let's do that. And I'm just going to press save changes. Okay. So now once we go back, all this should be gone and this stuff at the bottom, it should be gone as well. When I refresh this. Yes. So now we've just got our actual feed. So now we want to set it so it displays correctly. So we go to number of photos. So I just want one, I want just one row of it. So right now it's got 20 photos displaying over four columns. So I want to match them. So for example, I want six images and I want them over six columns. So this just means that they're, they, they are all in one row. They're nice and neat and it's not going all the way down. So let's just refresh that again and see what it looks like now. Here we go. So again, we've got a black border around it. So we're going to go back here and just change padding. So if I just change that to zero, save it. And I want to disable mobile layout as well, which means it will just show up like a nice strip along the mobile. It's not going to set out funny. So do that, save it, refresh it, and we are all good to go. You can set it for as many columns as you like. Just remember, keep the column numbers and post numbers equal. It only goes up to 10, so you can do 10 if you want. But yeah, you can also do it across multiple rows. That's perfectly fine. I just like an individual row here. But that is how you set up your Instagram feed. So if I click on this, it should take me right to it. Here we go.